Uh, welcome to the indices, and uh, here we're looking at the bonds market. It's probably a bit better if I look at the uh, the notes, actually, a bit easier on the eye for the count here. Um, look, essentially, this market is moving down. So if we've got we've got five waves here, kick back here. This is the next little leg starting down through here, th third wave, one, two, three, four, and five. So while the uh, notes and bonds are moving down, we're going to be seeing the uh, the S and P five hundred. Uh, here uh, moving to the upside. So there's still, even though the count through the S&P 500 here is a little bit tricky to work out, um, let's go and have a look at that now. So um, there's a couple of things here just in the slightly bigger picture we'll start with because, um, you know, we were looking at this as, as a uh, uh, the A wave, the B wave and the C wave. But the problem with the C wave here, it's not it's not a C wave, it's not five waves, it's three waves. So it's likely that this is uh, a wave one up through to here and an ABC back for wave two to here, making this the third wave up through here. Not that we have to worry about that just yet, but it is moving nicely like a third wave. Um, but that said, our job really is to count five waves up through here. And I keep getting different counts when I'm doing it. It's just a little bit tricky. But uh, one thing that we can sort of start looking at is, well, a few things really. Firstly, the, the move up through here hasn't been corrected. It's, uh, you know, it's it, it hasn't been sort of retested. So the uh, resistance area through here, the group two, this, the 1872 and the 1880 here, uh, now that it's moved through that, it's likely to see some sort of, uh, you know, even small correction coming back and making the resistance uh, support from that point. And then, of course, we get to the 1900 uh, next after that as well. So uh, it's a large number and we would have to expect a um, corrective swings across that. Now, the normal process is the arrival, and we could get the arrival, you know, from here as well, but um, some small thing, retesting the, res the resistance will become support, and then the first high above the level, and then some corrective swings across here before we move up. Um, <clears throat> when we do move up, you know, the next level up here, by the way, is, well, you know, is is uh, is up at 2,000 through here. So um, I know from using the levels, <clears throat> you know, pretty much, um, you know, all different markets. So I, I know that, um, you know, when we get to the, the, the 1,900 here as support, it normally gets pulled up quite quickly here. So I feel like there could be a really good trade coming up through here and uh, finding that support uh, on here, uh, would be you know a nice trade uh, to the upside. Uh, in this little uh, move up through here, you know it can be counted as five waves up through to here, but it also can be counted as three waves to here as well. So um, the eighteen um, eighty eight here, so eighteen ninety, um, you know it's this is where it can fail and come back to the eighteen eighty here. So just be sort of mindful uh, of that, but. Uh, the 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 uh, the momentum for this <clears throat> on the the daily for this for this move up is is just coming into buying mode. So I know that the time we get to nineteen hundred here, it will be overbought, you know, and we'll we'll get corrections here. But at the same time, uh, you know, the, the the larger momentum that's coming through here will 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 take it higher. So. Um, it's just a matter of navigating uh, uh, the, the the prices and um, <clears throat> and and the corrections. So, but once we do establish that we've got a a reasonable correction that's come in, uh, you know, retest back to here or a correction at this point here, then we have a reference point to work with uh, at that point there. But the trend is to the upside. Um, the uh, DAX is much the same in its own right as well. Um, you know, it's uh, facing, we pointed this out yesterday, it's facing some resistance uh, through here as well. And, you know, this counts up to here in terms of of three waves or, or wave C up here as well. So uh, from here would be the one, the two, the three to here, the four to here, and then one, two, three, four, and then diminishing into the fifth wave up through to here. So we can expect corrections, you know, uh, you know, at at, at, at um, the the nine six and the and the other important level here was the nine six five zero, and if we do get support on the nine six uh, three zero there, the top of of group one, if I've got that in there further through here. Uh, 
just for day traders. So obviously you've got the, the put the 96 here, which is important. The 9630 here is, is important as support, and it's, and it's gleaning some support here. And this number here that I wanted to point out, the 9650 through here, will be important. The other important thing here, I mean, this is being oversold too on the on the daily, but once again, the momentum is is uh, has been in play for quite some time and is, is, is quite firm to the upside. And coming back to the US markets there, we've had the ADP figures come out last night and um, it showed a positive sign for the labour market and um, that will uh, feed into the non-farm payrolls on, on Friday. So, you know, when we come to the uh, Australian market as such uh, here, you know, we... Um, uh, you know we've been working with our uh, with our a couple of things our weekly bullish cycle and um and our weekly bullish cycle has pretty much been on track in terms that um uh we're looking for wednesday to be uh positive um and thursday we're looking for thursday to be uh, uh a bear market so we're looking for even though the u.s markets are up overnight and look it'll probably make a a fool of me and 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 push up as well and you would think so too you know being the u.s markets being up somewhat but just be mindful that thursday in australia can be a, a profit-taking day in, in in a bull market so um you know if it does correct uh uh normally opens higher and then trades lower through the day but if it trades lower on lower volume then we know that we're going to get friday and monday being bull days um and you know we've got that adp figure from last night which will give us a positive figure uh well a, a bias of being a positive figure for the non-farm payrolls on friday so it'll give us that friday monday sort of bull run there and that's important for the stocks we're trading uh more than anything else um you know and yesterday we were looking at um this chart here and we were looking noted that we had a three wave correction from here so we always knew that we'd be making a new high through here and we're making that new high through here now as well so um that's good and we've also other interesting point here is that as you can see we've developed support on the five four now so that's a positive step as well um this whole move up through here um, this it's just this point here this particular first one here um, being in three waves an A and a B and a C here it makes all of this um, move up corrective so that's a little bit sort of haunting really but the other positive side is that it's possible for this to be wave one here and then an A and a B and a C for wave two and then the next degree smaller even though it's a bigger wave would be up for one here and back for two so it could be a larger bull market um, working its way to the upside um, the the daily momentum is just coming in for a for a, for a, for a buying uh, signal through the 5400 here um, I know that once this market gets to 54.30 uh, up here a little bit higher uh, on the daily it will be oversold uh, overbought sorry so there you know it's still going to struggle um, up here in line with the um, with the S&P 500 and the DAX uh, so there is a struggling here and I pointed out before that you know that from the 5400 here to the 5430 is where the first block of supply comes in so sellers basically so it's you know it, it's going to struggle here and it, it, it is struggling you know up this first high above this high here sent the market down and it's not like this is racing off here is it you know um, once we get support on this number here the 5430 the top of group 1 10 20 and 30 then we've got a clear clear a passage to the upside and that's what we'd be sort of lo looking for so really it's a matter of building the trade through group one here we've got a nice tested support and you should be long off the support or above 5400 and the idea is you know is to is to once you see support on the was resistance now support you know then you add to these positions and the same with the 20 as well you can expect larger swings at the um 30 here and also remember that um uh, you know the other markets were oversold, so it, it's it's going to it's going to struggle there. So the idea basically is to trade smaller position sizes, but stay on the long side um, because it's going to get corrective uh, from here. So just with normal 
uh, the norm for here would be, well, uh, let's not worry about the 20 too much. Once that gains support here, uh, the 30 here can sort of really struggle and come back and even come down to the uh, to the 15 here, lower through here. But long as that 20 doesn't become the retested resistance, as long as it just, you know, continues to work across the 30 here in swings, then you know that you're going to be okay and, and you're going to, that's the time to really start adding to the trade uh, and that will get us to much higher ground. Um, you know, so it's really about navigating the, the Thursday uh, bear bearishness uh, that comes into the market where the market can open higher and trade lower for the day but if that's not the case then just work through uh, group one here with the aim of somewhere on the Friday of seeing this um, support coming in here and you'll know that it's support when you start seeing that the 20 really becomes the support the pivot within group one once that starts to get support then you can really sort of shovel it in from that point there um Alrighty, I think uh, I think that's that. Yeah, nothing sort of uh, uh, else important um, there. We do have. Let me just check. I know we've got um, ECB and uh, Bank of England having rates uh, changing, but we've also got. We should probably haven't mentioned nine thirty before the market opens as well. We've got the um, the, tr the Australian trade balance as well. So make sure you just check on uh, on that on that uh, headline news there before um, before doing anything. All right, cheers.